I'm Liam Harrington. I'm here at Humber College, one of the many institutions that are going to be affected by Doug Ford's new policies in regards to OSAP and tuition fees. Ford's government claims that the cuts to OSAP and tuition were made in the student's best interest. However, most students and experts disagree. Many students with low-income families rely on OSAP and the new cuts may force some of them to take out large loans or even drop out. I don't do loans. I don't like the idea of borrowing money. Um, so I, I only do grants and I use that to pay my tuition. Like the books and everything that I buy come out of my own pocket. Um, and I just ran out of my RASP so a grant would be, the, would be like the only thing I'd be able to get any support with. So, I mean, it's, it's going to kind of screw me over, um, you know, a lot of people actually in, my, in the social service, you know, sector of the school are going to get kind of just cut off. So I, I, I worry about the future here because we'll be losing a lot of good people who just have, I just don't have the money to come to school. So in response to the cuts, upset students have organized marches and protests. Noor Aladib, a chairperson for the Canadian Federation of Students Ontario, is hopeful these protests can bring real change. Yeah, well, I think that this is um, one of the many tactics that students are going to use to talk about um, the cuts to OSAP. I don't think that it will be the sole tactic, um, but one of the things that we've noticed from, you know, previous um, decisions made by the government is that direct action really does seem to shake up the government. Um, so I am excited for this rally that's happening on Friday in conjunction with like rallies and actions that are happening across the province and I think it's that they continue um, even after like the new cycle changes um, it'll be really important to build that momentum to something larger for when they come back uh, to the house. A representative from the Students of Ontario, Eamon Akmal, discussed the importance of the protests and what additional measures students can take so their voices can be heard. Um, to be honest, we're going to see what happens on February 4th and move on from there. That's our top priority is organizing that and making sure that goes really, really well. But I think in, uh, in general what we have going on is an MPP contact kit. So that's where I provide students with a template letter that they can send to their MPPs and just kind of a, a contact list of every single PC MPP in Ontario that they can contact. Ignite did not respond to a request for an interview. This has been Liam Harrington from Skedline.com.